Honda recently gave us the chance to make our wildest pickup truck dreams come true and to trick out a bunch of their new Ridgeline trucks. In this series, you're going to see what I and the tested team, that's Norm, Simone, Sean, Kishore, and Frank, came up with. Let's get started. Hey Adam, Sorry. I bet you didn't know that I've been racing dirt bikes since I was like 14. Racing dirt bikes? Yes. I totally did not know that. Well, when you go to the track and you see all the like factory guys and the pros, they always have these like really cool vehicles with like their tools and they're able to work on the bikes and tinker with them and fiddle with yeah. them. I want to make a mobile pit stop. A mobile pit stop. So you want to make a mobile shop right yeah. in the bed for dirt biking and maintaining your dirt bike. Yeah. Oh. And then on top of that, yeah. I have all my gear. I have a huge bag of motocross gear. That also has that to we need. There. Yeah, we need so, to figure out how to put that in there. This is a tile puzzle. There's a lot of material yeah. to fit within the space of the bed and the cab. Yeah. So that your dirt biking can be the most... Um, you can go anywhere if you have yeah, this. Yeah, why not? Awesome. I love this. Let's get to some drawings. All right, dirt bike Frank, where do we start? <laughs> we start with my gear bag. Oh! I have to put all of this safety gear. This is all into one there. set of gear. Yeah, it's my check, helmet. Oh my god! Check this out. I got my oh, chest protector. Look at you. Carbon fiber knee braces. Dude. And then I got my boots because you have to have yeah, oh, dude. proper protection. So yeah. we have to figure out how to organize all that stuff. How to organize that plus a motorbike. Plus the bike. Plus the bike. My fuel. Fuel, and that has to be stored outside. Um, got my ramp. So you could get the bike in and out. Right, and that's aluminum and it's a pre-made item, mm -hmm. so it yep. fits right in. Okay. Bike, fuel, gear, uh, tools for repair. Yeah, I have, I have my toolbox. Um, and that's like the just kind of standard things I take every time I go riding. Okay. And I want to have a retractable hose reel uh -huh. so that I could blow off parts or clean I it off. I love it. And I also want to have a pressure washer. Because... Once you've done the ride and then you've ridden mud covered back home, the last thing you want to do is go back outside and wash down clean your that gear. Bike. Yeah, yeah. You gotta, uh, hell with that. Do it right there. All right. So air compressor. They make air compressors for cars. Mm -hmm. the power is not an issue for that. That's, yeah. a, that's a knowable system. Retractable reel. So we'll, you'll have to buy one. Yeah. I could, there's plenty of places I can go on the internet find a retract like the smallest, most compact retractable hose wheel I can find. It'll have like all 20 this comes feet. out of the bed. Not, yeah. I want to. I want to put a port inside of the truck so that it's just two little retractable wheels. I don't want to have hoses. I don't want to have any. Right. I want, in fact, I kind of have a drawing. Excellent. Let's see your drawing. Oh, you really have a drawing. Yeah. So this is my like kind of quick Photoshop kind of throw together. <laughs> Everyone else is actually drawing in pen and you've done a beautiful like sales graphic. Because <laughs> dirt bike guys like to customize their stuff. Oh, I want to wrap the truck. I okay. want to put tested graphics. Oh! I want to put our mission patch on there. I want to keep it all NASA inspired. That's brilliant. Okay, so the compressor, so if, um, if I may, yeah. if we're looking at the truck from above, and here's the windshield, here's the cab, and here's the bed, mm -hmm. the bike sits here. Yeah. Right? Okay, so are you going to have the compressor, the pressure washer, and the retractable reel all on the other side of the bed from the bike? No. I want to pull out where the spare tire is for the truck. And I want oh. to put all of that stuff in there, and then in the wheel wells here, I, that's where I want to put the retractable hoses. Oh my God, that's brilliant! So literally, so that you don't way take it, a look at anything. It won't, and it won't take up any of the bed space. And it's two retractable hoses: one for air, one for pressure washing. Yes, dude, dude, I love this. This is this is this is you're making a Swiss Army knife. Yeah. For off roading. I think this is gonna be fun. That's brilliant. Okay. All right, Frank. So after chatting with Adam, you've taken the truck out to the motocross track. Yeah. And you have some ideas about what you can actually fit in here. Yeah, taking this thing to the track gets me uh, the chance to really see like where I want to put things and how I want to organize the back of the truck. Now let's take a look inside because you know in this in-bed trunk right now, I already see a lot of space, but you don't want to put stuff right in here. Well, my gear and my toolbox is going to go down here. Right, right. So we're going to put everything inside where the spare tire used to be. Ah, oh, okay. So there's this whole tray and everything will get mounted in here. 
can we talk through what exactly is going to live on this tray? So there's a pressure washer, right, um, which takes the water supply and bumps it up to 1500 psi. And then there's a water tank. So I found a, a rectangular, uh, like six gallon water tank okay. that fits like perfectly in here. And then I also have um, a water pump, which takes that water tank and puts it up to pressure to feed to the um, pressure washer. And then I also have an air compressor. Compressor. Yeah. So Frank, next step is to get this stuff properly mounted, some custom mountings, custom fittings. Yep. And then we can take it out to the track. Hell yeah. All right, Frank, so we've done a morning of test fittings, but it turns out we have a little problem to solve. Yeah, this tray uh, has too much like kind of bumpy stuff on it, so the, the stuff doesn't fit in there. There's not enough vertical clearance. Right. So what I want to do is I'm just going to take some of this spare center that I have, and I'm going to um, trace the shape of this mm -hmm. and make a couple of little inserts that'll still bolt in using the existing holes, and I'll mount everything to the center just so that it doesn't slide around. Frank, this water reservoir doesn't have any mounting parts. How are you going to get this inside? I'm just going to use a little bit of this uh, strapping stuff and screw it in. All right, using the same mounting piece. Yep. Okay, Frank, you got the pump, compressor, water reservoir. Yep. It's all mounted in. Yeah, and the, uh, the pressure washer will live in the trunk. It just doesn't fit in that hole. I thought it would, but. Yeah, it'll have its own little cubby yeah. there. We'll make a divider uh, for it and it'll be real nice and clean. Let's get this guy's inside. All right, cool. These are really nice, compact, industrial, retractable hose reels. And what I want to do is I want to fit them in here in between the, uh, the outside of the truck and the bed. Oh. So I'll mount these in there, and then we'll have the hose coming out outside. Frank, everything's in the truck. You got air. You got the compressor. You got water. You got the pressure washer. And you have a way to get it out of the truck. Installed the holes reels. Nice. You've made this even more functional, and you had to make it stand out a little bit. Yeah, gave it the test of touch. And what dirt bike guy doesn't like stickers? Let's take it to the track. This is it. Finally, Outdoors. Finally get to ride. <laughs> <laughs> We've been talking about this for a long time. Yeah, you guys have seen my bikes in the background and my shop and everything, and now we get to show everybody that I ride. So today you rolled up with your mobile workshop yeah. on the side of the track, you unlocked in bed trunk, you pulled your gear out. There's a lot of gear here. Walk me through what you take to the track. Well, I put a lot of stuff in here. So I put in additional adjustable tie downs so I could strap things in kind of wherever I want. Um, we fabricated a, uh, a wheel chalk up there so that when I tie the bikes in, the wheels don't turn. Um, and then, you know, the ramp comes out and stores away real nice and easy. Uh, and, and of course, there's all the modifications you put inside the truck. Yeah. The compressor, the, the pressure washer. I want to check out your bikes, Frank. I've seen this guy yeah. at the shop. Have you always ridden with this? How long um, have you been riding? Well, I've been riding since I was about 14. Um, my dad taught my sister and I how to ride when we were real young, like in high school. And I learned how to ride on that Honda SL70. And I think that's like a 1971, and I'm trying to restore it, kind of make it all nice and fresh. Um, why you got room for two. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, so I've been riding since mid 90s, and this is my current bike. You know, after that, I had an, an XR350, and then I had a CR125, and then a CRF250, and now a 450. So this is more than just a passing <laughs> hobby. Yeah, it's, it's like, it's our family thing. Like, it always reminds me of, like, you know, being in high school and hanging out with my dad and my sister and it's going what to the you're track doing on the every weekends, weekend. not answering my calls. Yeah, exactly.
Frank, that was awesome. I am tired. <laughs> <laughs> you feel good? Yeah, that was awesome. It, wow. So much fun to have the track to myself. I had a lot of fun filming you. Yeah. Uh, and what next? Your uh, bike? You gotta wash it? We'll wash it off. All right. All right. Quick connect on this. All right, Frank, I'm gonna let you start washing your bike, packing up your gear. I'm gonna go review the footage. Good job, man. Cool, man. Did it. it.